pain. Yeah, just to be safe because my blood pressure is still a bit low. Are you alright? What is it? Yeah, it still hurts a bit from all the vomiting all night. From the hyperemesis gravidarum. I mean, they said that it made my blood pressure drop, so that's why I fell. Said that I was lucky I got here when I did. You feeling lucky? You know, I could have lost the baby. But you didn't. And the doctor said the scans gave you both a clean bill of health. <laughs> it was a good thing Jamie was there to bring you in. Yeah, well, he didn't want to. Of course he did. We'd been rowing, so when I fell, he just... He just stood there. You know, he just watched me go down and he didn't do anything. Probably just froze in the moment. And then he brought you here, didn't he? Yeah, and then, and then left me straight away. So what were you rowing about? <sighs> well, I just... I'd seen him with Dawn. She was saying how she loves him. And he was just... He was totally made up. I thought him supporting me meant... meant more. But he was just pretending to be nice so that I'd go along with having an abortion. No. That's not Jamie. He'd never... Well, he did. And after I saw him with Dawn, he just... stopped pretending. Told me a baby would be... inconvenient. And that I was thick for wanting one. I am so sorry. It's not your fault he didn't want me. Or the baby. Why would he? You didn't need to come. I told Jay. How dare you? How... How is she? Good. Strong. And the baby? And the same. Safe. What happened? Actually, no, I want to see her first. She's only allowed one visitor at a time. I'm not a visitor. I'm her mum. Of sorts. Gabby <gasps> didn't ask the hospital to call you last night. They called me. And you should have let me know when they did. But no, you decided to try and get here first, leaving her alone all night. Well, things hadn't been brilliant between you lately. <laughs> I made a judgment call. Yeah, the wrong one. Now, can you get out my way, please? Move. I'm here now, sweetheart. I didn't know. It was fine because Kim came in earlier. But it should have been me. I just, you know, I wish you'd call. Why didn't you call? I didn't think it was fair with everything that you've gone through with your pregnancy. Oh, Gabby, I'm fine. You're not, Laurel. And that's OK. Well, I just, I want you to include me because you mean everything to me. Please don't shut me out to protect me. I should be protecting you because I'm the parent. OK. Promise? Thank goodness you and the baby are OK, though. <sighs> Gabby? Are you OK? I'm scared. <sighs> You've had a terrifying night. <sighs> Look, you and the baby got through it, and if anything happens like this again, we'll bring you straight in. That's not why I'm scared. Last night, when I thought I'd lost it, I... <laughs> a part of me was... Relieved. You know, that this was all over with. Must have been awful, but you were so sick and exhausted. No, before I was sick, I was thinking about whether I should keep it. I'm scared because I don't think I should have this baby. Oh, I thought... Uh... Well, why? What do you mean? I'm sorry, Laurel. But I want an abortion. Gabby, that is not possible, OK? I will love and support you whatever you want to do. So can you just try and talk me through your change of heart? I mean, last time we talked, you were really looking forward to having a baby of your own. Yeah, but that was before. So, before what? What's changed? I was just being an idiot. Having a baby wouldn't be convenient. What do you mean? What do you mean, convenient? Yeah, like it would ruin things. For you? Or for Jamie? I don't think I can do 
this without him. I thought he was on board. I thought he was going to support you. Yes, so did I. And I thought, well, <sighs> hoped, really, that, you know, when I have this child, he's going to want us both. You know, fall in love with our little family. But I'm so stupid. Gabby. You're not being stupid to want love. Like, desperate, more like. No. Jamie thinks I am. He only wants Dawn. And he thinks me having this kid is going to ruin his life. He actually said that. He really hates me, Laurel. And the baby. He tried to trick me into getting rid of it. How can I have a child whose dad wishes it was never born? Visiting hours are over. Don't go. Can I just have a bit longer, please? One minute. Gabby, listen, Jamie has been unfair, unkind, um, and, and wrong. He's despicable. He's got nothing to do with your decision, OK? Jamie doesn't matter. But he's the dad. OK, so what if he wasn't around? What if he was out of the picture? Would you still keep the baby? Gabby? Yes. But that doesn't mean I should have it. You know, what if Jamie's right and I can't cope with the reality of having a kid? What if I'm not ready to do this on my own? But you're not on your own. You've got all of us around you to help. Well, Mum had a family. Yet she still took off again and again. Me needing her wasn't enough for her to stick around when it really mattered. I can't do that to someone. But you won't. I mean, you're not Benice. Well, we don't know that. You know, it's Dad doesn't want it and it's Mum might not be able to cope. <laughs> But you will cope because you've got all of us around you to love and look after it, OK? That's not enough. I know, but listen. Listen, oh. it wasn't enough for me. I don't know what to do, Laurel. Whatever I do, I'm letting it down. What if there was another way? What if there was a third option? What? If you decide to keep him or her, then whatever you need, me and Jay can do it. We'll take care of everything. We'll look after your baby for you if, if that's what you want. What? We will raise your child as ours. If that is what you want. Can I just have one more minute, please? No, I'm sorry. You need to go now. She needs to sleep. OK, OK. I'm going to let you rest. But, Gabby, think about it. It might be the best option of all. <laughs>